NBA teams winning the first two games of the best of seven series have gone on to win 92% of the time. By the way, the Joker had 27, 20, and 10 as the, they pick up the win. So he's had four career playoff games with at least 25 points, at least 20 rebounds, and at least 10 assists. The rest of the NBA, the history of the NBA, has a total of four games. He has five. The rest of the NBA, that includes Kareem did it once, Dave Cowens did it once, Will Chamberlain did it twice. The Joker has done it five times in his career. Stat of the day, stat of the day, pop, pop. stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? stat of the day. And it's been nearly 50 years since the last player, other than Joker, has done this. Dave Cowens. So Wilt did it twice, Dave Cowens once, and Kareem did it once as well. But how many star players, MVPs, do you watch and go, he might not take the last shot? Because last night, he was setting a pick for Jamal Murray, and you had Anthony Davis switch off on Jamal Murray, but... You know, you normally think, okay, clear out, the star's got it, and he's going to uh, try to score. But Joker is so good at passing. Like, you, you always have to be aware of, do we focus on him and let somebody else beat you? As I've said before, I don't want the best player on the floor to beat me. Well, Jamal Murray is you, – you're not going to write the history of this Nuggets team without Jamal Murray. Now, he hadn't made an all-star appearance yet, and I say yet. He's one of those guys when you watch, certainly in the playoffs, and you go, golly, he's pretty good. But if you're the Lakers, I don't know, if you're a Laker fan today, do you say, man, like, we're there. You know, we were up by 20, right? Same as last year. We're really close. We didn't get blown out. Yeah, we got swept, but we didn't get blown out. Or do you go, I don't know if we have what it takes to get over the hump here. Yes, we are up 20. And then we lost. We've lost a lot of close games to them. Well, that's the difference between being good and being great. That's the difference between being eliminated or advancing. What do you do when you need to do it? And that's what Denver did last night. All righty, let's settle on a poll question. Now, I threw out who's in more trouble, Lakers or 76ers. Seton is going to take a positive spin on this because I'm Danny Downer, apparently. What are you thinking? Team down 0-2, most likely to make a comeback. (laughs) Ah? Sixers, Lakers, let's throw the magic in there. Okay. All right, magic. Sure. We see you, Orlando. (laughs) We see you. Um, Okay. Because they might actually be the one most likely to come back, if you're looking at it. By the way, the 76ers filed a grievance soft what now they didn't file a protest they filed a grievance which sounds like it's a complaint do we have the official wording of this of what what constitutes filing a grievance yeah so late night last night tim bontemps of espn reported that the seven sixers are planning to file a grievance over the first two games of the series the the officials okay no details on specific calls yet. They have to like put together like a package and send it to the NBA. They actually have to edit together calls and then send in what you're going to do. According to uh, another reporter with the athletic Fred Katz, a grievance is not an official protest of the game where you hope for a different result or ruling. Mm-hmm. It's more of just an official complaint about something in the game, usually official related. There's no uh, outcome from it. There cannot be an outcome. I always thought Phil Jackson could win a series or help dictate a series early in a series where he'd start complaining about the officiating. He'd go to the press conference and he would, in that deep voice of his, always talk about how they're missing calls. You know, Pat Riley did this as well. There's certain coaches, uh, Red Arbach, that they would kind of, it was one of those, that uh, subconscious type of thing that you wanted it to hang with the official, where it's like, uh, that's right. You know, they said that we're not giving uh, Michael Jordan enough calls here. Or, uh, you know, they're fouling Bill Russell here. And then somehow, some way. Now, granted, Phil always had a great team. That helps. But I don't know if kind of putting that seed of doubt in a, an official or the official's minds 
actually helps where you go, okay, got a little make good there. You know, it always helped having, you know, Kobe and Shaq or Mike and Scotty that you would get maybe the benefit of the doubt. Maybe you didn't even need the benefit of the doubt that you had the better team there. But when these coaches, nobody's ever happy with the officiate. Nobody ever at the end of a game goes, you know what, before I get started, uh, you know, that we won the game, let me tell you about how great the officiating was. Because if you're saying it's great, the opposing team is probably saying it wasn't great. And there's always moments here. But when somebody's complaining about the officiating, I always go, did uh, the officials force you to miss a free throw? Or you didn't box out? Or you missed a three? You can blame it on the officials. But there's so many other things in the course of a game where you go, uh, whose fault's that? It's your fault. Yes, Paul. According to The Athletic, the Sixers plan to say in their grievance that they have been disadvantaged more than any other team in the playoffs over the first two games of the series. They're going to provide information from game two, especially with the last two minutes. One of the things in question was Nick Nurse was signaling for a timeout and didn't get it. Well, they didn't have control of the ball, though, right? Is that when Maxie lost the ball and then he was trying to call a timeout? It's tough because there's a camera on Maxie and then there's a separate camera on Nurse. It's hard to tell when. And the timeout is not one of those demonstrative timeouts. It was kind of a a hip check. Mm. Here is uh, LeBron James questioning, do we have replay and why do we have a replay center? I don't understand what's going on in the replay center, to be honest. I said it. I think I said it this year or last year or whatever. D'Lo clearly gets hit in the face on a drive. What the f- do we have a replay center? This is, is going to go. That doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. It makes no sense to me. It bothers me. I'm sorry to answer your question, but that f- is like. And then I just saw what happened with the uh, Sixers Nick game too. What are we? What are we doing? Ah. Uh. Does LeBron hear from the home office for that comment there? Todd? I think maybe they reach out to him and use his word and say, come on, LeBron, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are you going to mm. make me give you a fine? Mm. Can we just let, let it go? Okay, if somebody else says that, do they get fined? Yes, they do. But he might. I mean, yeah. he probably should. Yeah. Play it again. I don't understand what's going on in the replay center, to be honest. I've said it, I think I said it this year or last year or whatever. D'Lo clearly gets hit in the face on a drive. What the f- do we have a replay center? This, this is, is going to go. That doesn't. It doesn't make sense to me. It makes no sense to me. It bothers me. I'm sorry to answer your question, but that f- is like. And then I just saw what happened with the uh, Sixers Nick game too. I'm, what are we? What are we doing? Well, you might say, "What are you guys doing?" You blew a twenty-point lead. How about we start there, and then if you want to single out one call against. D'Angelo Russell, are you really being fair? You blew a 20-point lead. Yes, Eden. I don't know if that's... Is that what the replay center does? Is look and be like, ah, I think we missed a foul right there. Or, ah, quick, stop the game, but there's a foul right there. I don't, I don't think that they do that, do they? Yes, Marv. Well, on that play that LeBron's talking about, they didn't call it. Yeah. Right. And they challenged it. And the Nuggets successfully won the challenge. Uh, okay. Or the, the foul was called against the Nuggets, and the Nuggets challenged the call. And then won it back. And then won it back. Hmm. And then they were like, wait, like you guys just saw that. Yeah, Paul. I'm looking back in LeBron's career, and he has never been fined for criticizing the officials. I cannot, if he has, I can't find it. A couple times he's been in the crosshairs because of the things he said, but the way he says it, he questions what's going on. Like he does it vaguely, almost like what he did here. Well, do they vaguely find him? <laughs> uh, 25-ish. Yeah, 